Hi, I'm Michael Rossi. I'm the chair of the Terry Fox Foundation board, which means that uh, I get to work with amazing colleagues and a whole network of volunteers across the country to organize the community runs, the school runs, and all of the fundraising that goes into raising money for cancer research across Canada that the foundation does each and every year. So my first connection to the Terry Fox Foundation was many years ago. I previously worked with Adidas and Adidas uh, had a relationship with Terry going back to 1980 when he ran his original Marathon of Hope. Uh, over the years I got to know the foundation and the wonderful people that work to raise money for cancer, uh, cancer research, and just wanted to find ways to help. So I've been a participant, a fundraiser, I became a board member, and recently was uh, appointed as the chair of the board, which is something I'm incredibly excited to take on this year. The runs bring in an incredible amount of money, about uh, anywhere from 10 to 20 million between the communities and schools each year. Um, it's something that we're incredibly proud of and over the years since Terry first set out across Canada, we've raised over $850 million for cancer research. So Terry had a goal of raising a dollar for every Canadian and we've eclipsed that many times over and there's still work to be done. Well, one of the ways is simply just by coming out and getting together. Um, the sense of community and, you know, there are 800 communities across Canada that come together in September as part of these runs to see your neighbours, to understand that cancer does impact them, but to also see that communities can come together and raise funds to help us find a cure. It's a great event. It's a great way to get to know your neighbours and be part of something bigger than just you. I think one thing is to make it personal. You know, we've all unfortunately been touched by cancer somehow. And if you can share that story, if you can share the reason why this matters to you, you know, it's very, uh, it just helps people relate. And it helps remind people of why we're doing this. You do need to be persistent. People are very busy and we all get a lot of emails. So sometimes it may take two or three times to send that email and make that request. Uh, right up until September 18th. Keep sending those emails and be persistent. Um, and just, you know, find a way to connect. And no matter whether someone gives $5 or $100, they're a Terry Foxer and they're part of what we're doing. So just find a way to get people involved and, uh, and invite them to come out and see what it's all about as well. Because once they see what, it, what it's like at a run, uh, they're usually part of our family for, uh, for years to come. I think it really does come down to community. I think, uh, you know, if you've ever experienced the Terry Fox run in a school as a kid, that's your first introduction. And then when you come out, you know, I've done runs back in the city, uh, in Toronto and in Mississauga. I've now moved up north and, and do them up here. No matter where you go, there are amazing volunteers who give their time and give their energy to bring people together. Um, and it's really brought together by Terry, by Terry's legacy, by what he set out to do and what we continue to do. You know, my t-shirt says I'm not a quitter. That was Terry's view. He never wanted to give up. And we have a legacy to protect and a job to do here because we're not done yet. So I think that's what makes us unique. We do it in Terry's honor and in his spirit. And, uh, and it's something really special to be part of. I would just say I hope to see you on September 18th, whether you did a run two or three years ago before COVID or you haven't done one in, in 20 or 40 years, come on out and invite a friend. It's a really special day. You'll be part of something special and you're helping us all move one step closer to realizing Terry's dream, which was uh, and is a world without cancer.